In this video, I'll be deploying Cyberdoc using Group Policy and Test Scheduler. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And the policy that I will be creating will perform four actions, as you can see here. The first one is deploying the installation of files to the program data deployment folder on the client machine. The second one is deploying a script called rnps one and I'm using this script because I don't want to execute the installation on the computers that already have the software installed. Also, I will be deploying a schedule task that will be responsible for executing the PowerShell script. And also I will be removing the schedule task after a software installation. All of the settings will have item level targeting because I don't want to deploy these settings on the computers that already have the software installed. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for the software deployment and I will start with the installation files. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to that CyberDuck download page. Here I will click on CyberDuck for Windows to start the download. We can close this window now. And I'll go back to the GitHub page because here I also have the run PS1 script that I will be using to execute the installation. So I will click on it. And as you can see here, it accepts three parameters, the executable, the argument list for the uh, silent installation, then the registry key. And I'm using a registry key because I want to check if that registry key exists. And if it doesn't, I want to execute the installation because the registry key that I will be checking only exists after CyberDoc installation. So this is the check for the registry key. And if it does not exist, we are executing the installation. So I will download the script by clicking this button right here. And then I will go to my downloads folder where we have our files. I will select both of them and copy them. Then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. For now, I'll minimize the server manager and open file explorer because we want to place the files in a location that is accessible to all of our users and the computers. And it's a network share and I will enter my file server name. It's SRV02. And here I have the software share and inside of this share, I will create another folder called CyberDuck. I will go inside of it and I will place the files here. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions. For example, in my case, if I go to property, security tab and edit, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions. And I also have the same permissions for my share permissions. And authenticated users covers both users and the computers in my domain. And that means that all of my computers and all of my users are able to access the share and execute files from it. And for this video, we mainly care only about our computers. Anyway, let's close everything here and go back to the server manager because now we can start create our group policy. And for that, I will go to tools group policy management i will right click on group policy objects and select new i will name the policy deploy cyberduck and click ok i will expand group policy objects i will select the policy that i created i will right click it and then select edit then because our policy is for our computers we need to go to the computer configuration preferences and the first action that I will be configuring will be the file deployment. And for that, we need to go to Windows settings. I will expand it here and select files. Then let's click right click here, go to new and select file. Here we need to provide a source file location and destination file location. And source file location is where we currently have our file. And destination file is where we want it to appear on the client machine. And I have all the values that I will be using in this video in my GitHub page. So I will go there and to the main page. And as you can see here, I have the exe deployment and all the necessary values. Here are the values for the source file. So I will select this value right here and copy it. As you can see, it's my, it's the executable location in my file server. So I'll paste it here. Then we need to do the same for the destination file. And here I'm using a variable that translates to C program data, deployment folder, cyberdoc folder, and then the executable name. And if you don't have the folder structure, it will be uh, created on the file deployment, during the file deployment. So I'll paste it here and everything seems to be okay. 
and we're basically done here but like i mentioned before i want to deploy these files only on the computers that don't have uh, software installed and for that i will be using item level targeting so for that let's go to command select item level targeting and then targeting and once again i will be targeting a registry key that is created after software installation after cyberdoc software installation so for that let's go to new item registry match and for the hive i will select local machine and for the key path i will go back to the github page and i will copy the value from here and i will paste it here and everything seems to be fine here but currently it checks if the registry key exists and then it deploys the file if the registry key exists and we want the opposite so to change from exist to does not exist let's go to the item options and select is not now it says does not exist and it will deploy the file if the, this registry key does not exist so let's click ok here apply and ok so we are done with the executable deployment. Now let's create another deployment for our script. And for that, I will copy this action and I will paste it here. I will remove the source file value and destination file value. And I will go back to the GitHub page. And here I have the script deployment value. So I once again, we'll copy everything and paste it there. And we're done here. And because we used copy paste, we still have the item level targeting from the action before. So I will click apply and OK. And that's it for our file deployment. Now let's deploy our schedule task. And for that, let's go to the control panel settings right here and select schedule tasks. I will once again right click here, go to new and select schedule task at least Windows 7 and here we need to provide the name and once again i will copy the name from my github page it's somewhere here deployed cyberdoc it's a very simple name so i'll paste it here then we need to provide a user account on under which we want to run uh, this installation i mean schedule task and i will be running it under anti-authority system and i will paste it here then we need to configure the trigger. So let's go to the triggers tab, select new and begin task. Let's select at startup and okay. Then let's configure actions new. And here we'll be launching our script. And for that we'll launch the PowerShell executable. And once again, I have all the values in the GitHub page so that I don't make any typos. I will paste the PowerShell.exe value here. And now we need to provide the arguments. And as you can see, the arguments uh, value is a bit long. Here we are providing a script that we want to launch. Then we are providing the executable uh, that we want to launch. Then we are providing silent switch for the silent installation. And then we are providing a registry value that we'll be checking. If, and if this registry value does not exist, we'll execute the installation from the script. So let's paste it here and click OK. And now we're done with all the settings. And now let's once again configure item level targeting because we want to deploy it only on the computers that don't have CyberDoc installed. So let's go to new item, registry match, and here is OK. For the hive, let's select local machine and let's copy this line right here. And paste it here and click OK. Oh, sorry, I mean, let's go back to the targeting and we need to change it from exist to does not exist. And now we can click OK and apply and OK. And now we have the deployment, but we want to do delete the scheduled task on the computers after the software installation. So let's make a copy and paste it here, go inside of it. And now let's go back to common targeting and here i will be switching from does not exist to does does exist because we want to remove it after the installation after this registry key exists let's click ok here go back to general and for the action instead of update let's select delete now this scheduled task will be created on the computers uh, that don't have cyberdoc installed it will run it after a reboot and after that under after another GP update, it will remove itself if that CyberDoc installation will be successful. 
Anyways, we are done configuring our group policy, so we can close this window right here. Then I will go to details here, and for GPS status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy currently has only user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating our group policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to install the software. In my case, it will be this one right here, the main computers one. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the, on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. As you can see, it appeared here. And now let's test this group policy by going to one of the computers that is located in this organization unit. And let's see how it works. So for me, it's my client 01. Here I will open a first file explorer and let's go to C program data to see if the deployment folder exists. And I made a typo and that's why I like copy pasting a lot more. And it seems I was successful this time. And as you can see, currently we don't have the deployment folder. Let's also open the test scheduler and make sure that you're running it with administrative privileges because otherwise you will not be able to see uh, the scheduled task that is deployed by the group policy. And if I go here, uh, let's make it a bit larger. We can see that we don't have the scheduled task for cyber uh, deployment right now. So let's update our policy by going to the command line and doing GP update. And let's minimize this. As you can see, the deployment folder appeared almost instantly. Here we have our script and the executable. And if I refresh schedule task, we have the scheduled task for the cyber dog deployment. And it's ready and the task has not run yet. So everything seems to be fine. Also, if I remove the schedule task and do another GP update, it should reappear for us. Yeah, as you can see, every time a uh, group policy is updated, the, the schedule task is recreated. Same goes for the files. If I delete them, they will reappear. Now let's see if the deployment itself is working. So let's close everything here and let's restart our computer because we will trigger the installation on the startup. So shut down minus R minus T zero and press enter. And let's see what's going to happen. And the restart is done. So I'll sign back into the client machine. I will try to quickly open task manager to see if I can spot the CyberDuck installation. I'm not sure if it's done. Uh, from what I see, it seems that we are done have the installation running. So it should be already in our computer. Yeah, as you can see here, we have the CyberDuck executable that we can run. And also let's open task scheduler with administrative privileges. As you can see, we still have the, st the task. Mm. And the last run was successful. So everything seems to be fine here. That CyberDuck is also running just fine. And now let's see if item level targeting uh, working works correctly. So after another group policy update, this scheduled task should be removed. So let's do GP update. Let's refresh our scheduled task list. And as you can see, the scheduled task disappeared. Also, if I go to see program data, we can try to delete the deployment folder. And let's update again. And it's not reappearing. So everything seems to be working just fine. And here we have our CyberDuck. And that's it for deploying CyberDuck using group policy and task scheduler. As you can see, the deployment is very messy. So I don't recommend that you use it in a production environment, but sometimes that's unavoidable. And this method can be useful. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.